we are privileged and blessed to have a pastor that cares about us, not only our spiritual man, but our natural as well. He's loving, he's kind, amen. Let's give God a hand of praise for our pastor, the shepherd of this house, Superintendent Joseph Hawkins. We love you, Dad. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Open your mouth and give God a praise if you don't mind. Praise the Lord. Come on, open your mouth and give him a praise. Will you shout unto God a voice of triumph? Open your mouth and just thank him for his goodness. Thank you for his mercy. Amen, me and my teeth. Come on and give him praise. Come on and give him praise. He is worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. God bless you. Praise the Lord. What a great day to be in the house of the Lord. Anybody feel like pressing their way? Anybody feel like pressing your way on? Amen. We honor the Lord today. Amen. For his goodness. I got him right here. Thank you, son. Amen. We honor the Lord for his mercy and his kindness and for the benefits he give unto us. Amen. What a, what a great day to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. This is a great day. This is a day the Lord has made. And guess what? He allowed us to be part of his day. It's his day. And he just allowed us to be part of his day. Turn your attention to the book of Isaiah 49, verse 15 and 16. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49, verse 15, it says, Can a woman forget her suckling child that she should have compassion on the son of her womb? Yes. The mother may forget the child. But the Lord says, Yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee. One translation says, I've written you. I've written your name. Another translation said, I put a, a tattoo of you. Anybody got a tattoo? Where y'all tattoo folks that tat got a tattoo? It's all right, y'all save. It's okay. It's all right. I got a tattoo. Now, I didn't know some of y'all had a tattoo, though. I'm surprised. <laughs> it's one translation said, I have a tattoo of you on the palm of my hand. One, another translation, I've cut your name in my hand. Thy walls are continually before me. You may be seated. From that, I just want to share with you, would you just tell a neighbor, I was designed to be unforgettable. Just, just, just tell somebody, I was designed to be unforgettable. That's why you may forget me, but I was designed to be unforgettable. Well, that's a praise right there. That's worth the praise right there. Will you praise him? Thank you, thank you, ushers. Thank you, ushers. Thank you, ushers. I was designed. You may forget me, but he won't forget me. Matter of fact, he got me tattooed on his hand. Hallelujah. I believe that God is so gracious and is, is concerned for tiny men in a universe should humble us and amaze us. The writer in Psalms 8, 3 through 4 declared to us, he said, when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man 
that you are mindful of him. The son of man that you care for him. Brothers and sisters in this text, in this uh, Psalms 3 and through 4, when he, he says, what is man that, that are mindful? The word mindful means to remember. What is man that you remember him? Not only that, but the word translated care means to pay attention. What is man that you remember him and give him some attention? You know, some of us, we like attention. Uh, everybody like a little attention. But I'm so glad the Bible declared unto us that uh, God has us on the palm of his hand. And brothers and sisters, you got to know and understand you were designed to be unforgettable. God's not going to forget you. Don't you know he know your name? If you knew Zachariah who was hanging in the tree for the first time, he called him on Zacchaeus, come on down. Well, listen, he knows where you are. He knows what you're dealing with. He will remember you. He got you tattooed. He got you engraved. He got a picture of you. Like some folks carry a picture of their loved one on the iPhone, the, the cell phone. There are people carry pictures. Some of y'all still got pictures in your wallet. But, 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 but God said, I got a picture of you right on my hand. Will you clap your hands and praise God? Why should God even notice the tiny man on a tiny planet in the midst of this vast universe. Why should God even remember that we are here or pay any attention to us at all? When David considered the immensity of the universe, he's humbled and amazed at God's concern for man. And I want to tell you, we should be too. This gives me to know that we are designed to be unforgettable. Will you look at somebody and tell them you are designed to be unforgettable? Will you remember on the sixth day of creation, God created Adam and man, and, and when God had created man, we're told that he said it's very good. He spoke everything into existence. But when it came to man, not only did he speak, but he stooped and worked. He made man out of the dust of the ground. Breathed to him the breath of life. Man became a living soul. He took dust from the ground. Dust is made of fine particles of solid material. On the earth is generally consists of particles in the atmosphere that comes from various sources. Whatever particles that floats in the atmospheres and settle to the ground, it's dust. Man was made from the dust of the ground. Could you imagine when the old pig got to shaking itself? Dust went in the ground. Could you imagine when the feathers of an eagle flew and dust fell from its feathers, it fell to the ground? Uh, I believe that even the old mule, when the mule would shake itself, dust fell off and fell to the ground. And one day God gathered all that dust. Somebody say, no wonder we stubborn. We got a little mule dust in us. No wonder we act like a monkey. Got a little ape dust in us. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. When God made us, he made us in his image. She talked about it, made us in his likeness, in his characteristics. The very fact that we are in the image of God, even in the sense that I can walk. Will you tell somebody, I can walk. And this is the image of God. For the Bible said in Genesis, after the fall of man, the voice of God was walking through the garden. Hallelujah. But not only that, but in Ephesians 1, 22, it said, it's far above, he's far above all rule and authority, power and dominion. Every name that is named not only in this age, but also in the one to come. 
And the Bible says God put everything under his foot. And I got, I'm in the image of God. And guess what I got? Oh, bless his name. I got a foot. Not only that, but the very fact uh, that we can see is in the image of God. 1 Peter 3 and 12 says, for the eyes of the Lord, the eyes of the Lord, not only does he have eyes, but that's what he gave me. The eyes of the Lord is over the righteous, but not only does he have eyes, but his ears. Guess what he gave me? His ears are open to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. That's why Proverbs picked it up. He said the eyes of the Lord is in every place watching the evil and the good. The fact that we can taste lets us see we are in the image of God. Hallelujah. Because Revelation, when he wrote to the church of Laodicea, he said, Laodosia, you're so lukewarm. He said, I can taste you in my mouth. And because you're lukewarm, he said, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Not only does uh, he taste, but the very fact that he can, we can smell, let us know we're in the image of God. In the book of Genesis again, 8 and 21, the Lord smelled the soothing aroma, it said. And the Lord said to himself, I will never again curse the ground on account of man. The, the apostle Paul picked it up in Ephesians 5 and 2. He said, walk in love just as Christ loved you. Gave himself up for us. An offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. Can I tell you something? Every time you praise him, it sends off a sweet aroma. Every time you clap your hands and give God glory, it sends a sweet aroma. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fact that we can hear lets us know we're made in God's image. 1 John 5, 14 through 5. And this is the confidence that we have toward him. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. So glad I was designed like him. And since I was designed like him, I was designed to be unforgettable. Hallelujah. You were designed to be unforgettable. You are not a product of some impersonal force. You are not a creature of chance. We are not creatures that just happen to appear on the scene of human history. But we are here made of God and he can't forget what he made. Will you shake somebody's hand and say I was designed to be unforgettable. Come on, clap your hands and praise him. And I'm getting ready to close this thing. He made us from the moment of our conception. Long before our birth, he was superintendent our developing while we were yet in our mother's womb. Think of the human body, beloved, composed of more than 100 trillion cells. Think of your skin while water uh, penetrate the skin outwardly. It cannot penetrate the skin inwardly. Think of the bones capable of carrying of load 30 times the brick will support. Think of your liver. It breaks up blood cells in 
begin to bile and neutralize this poison substance. Think of blood, 10 to 12 pints of surface substance distribute oxygen and carries away waste from your tissues and organs. It regulates your body temperature. Think of your heart. Weighs less than a pound. It's a real workhorse. On the average, it pumps a hundred thousand times every day. Circulating 2,000 gallons through 60,000 miles of arteries and veins. Wow! Will you help me shout, wow! And that's only the fraction of this wonder. God designed you to be unforgettable. I want to let you know our brain has 10 billion nerve cells. It records what it sees. It records what it hears. And it feels. The brain's capabilities surpasses any man-made computer. What a beautiful way to describe how God put us together. And because of that, I was designed to be unforgettable. He remembers us when others forget. He remembers us when you clap your hand and praise him. When Isaiah wrote these words in the text, Israel was suffering as an exile in Babylon. They were wondering if God had forgotten them. I come to tell somebody he hadn't forgotten you. Will you encourage your neighbor and say, neighbor, he ain't forgotten you. He, you are undeniable, desiring to be unforgettable. He haven't forgotten you. It haven't happened yet, but he hadn't forgotten you. You ain't got it yet, but he didn't forget you. You may feel like you're the last in line, but he ain't forgot you. You may feel sick in your body, but he ain't forgotten you. Will you praise him? Won't you praise him? Shake somebody's hand and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I was designed to be unforgettable. Will you praise him? Won't you praise him? Anybody glad about it? He won't forget you when everything's gotten crazy. He won't forget you when it seemed like he may not come when you want him. But he's always on time. You were designed. Hallelujah. 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 The word engraved. He has a tattoo of you. He got you cut a picture of you in his hand. Literally speaking, he's tattooed a picture of you in the palm of his hand. Somebody asked the question, why would somebody put a tattoo in their hand? To remember something, the hands are one of your most important tools for expressing love. A place of the hand on the shoulder of a grieving friend, a shoulder of concern. We hold our hands to loved ones, our whole hands to show affection to one another. With our hands, which we have some of the most sensitive skin of the entire body, delicate control, that one fourth of our brain surface area is dedicated to our hands. We demonstrate our love for others. 
with our hand. We use our hand to touch loved ones tenderly. We shake hands to give warm greeting. It's with our hand, the work of our hands, so we can give to others. But look what God did. He gave his hand to the cross. His hand with a pitch on you was nailed to the cross. He died. He died. He died. But on the third day, the blood was in his hand. And since there was a pitch of you in his hand, the blood that cover his hand can cover you. Thank God for his blood. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Thank God his blood covers me. The blood still has power. Will you praise him? Will you give him glory? Will you magnify him? He died on the cross. And when he got up, I was still in his hand. He got up, I was still in his hand to let me know one day I'm going to get up too. If I die now, I won't have to die no more. Will you give him glory? As I close, no matter what God is up to today, be assured, if he is busy, he's remembering you. If he's healing folks, he's still remembering you. Every time he touch somebody, he's using your hand to touch because you are in his hand. He got the whole world. He got the whole world. So I just need to tell you, I may be 60 pound overweight, but I was designed to be unforgettable. I may have five good teeth in my mouth, but I was designed to be unforgettable. I may be going bald in the top of my head, a bald as Pastor Davis, but I was designed to be unforgettable. Unforgettable, that's what you are. Unforgettable. Will you shout and tell somebody, tell them you were designed to be what? Tell them, say, unforgettable. That's who you are. Stand to your feet. I was about to go nally, nally cold on y'all, but I don't think y'all ready. I was about to go now in in, in that. (laughs) Kim, you know that? No, no. (laughs) You were designed. And and here's the thing about it. It doesn't matter how low you feel. It doesn't matter how out there. It doesn't doesn't matter if, if you hadn't done everything right. If you've confessed with your mouth. And if you believe in your heart. If you accepted Jesus as Lord. Young people, he won't forget you. Mom and dad praying for y'all. Ain't going to forget you. The Bible says, train up a child in the way it go. And when it's old, what's going to happen? It won't depart. You may not, may not be doing well in your body, doing well in your life. You feel like your life is just messed up. But I start by to tell you that you were designed to be unforgettable. He's not going to forget you. Ty said something this morning. I think I'll take it to my grave. 
the Bible says we sit in heavenly places. Amen? She said, but our problem is we want to stand up. And we're trying to fight standing up. When we already can sit in heavenly places and win the battle. Oh, that was good. Uh, today, while the altar workers come, come on, altar workers. Come on. The altar workers are coming. If you're here today, you say, you know something? I want better for my life. I need better for my life. I want better for my life. If I, if I really was designed by him and I'm unforgettable, right now I don't feel like it. I want you to come and get some prayer. If you don't know Jesus as Lord of your life, I want you to come. If you're here this morning, you want prayer, come on. Come on. Come on. Some of you college students, you need direction. You don't, College life, is, it can be crazy because you get caught up in the wrong group. And you can start doing things you didn't do at home. Or you can break away from the church and like, I don't go to church now. But while you're at home, mama drug you to church. And now that you're on, you say, I ain't going today. That bed won't let me go. But you know you know better. And you want better. Will you come? Will you come? Lord, I'm available to you. Mm, my I'm gonna do, Lord. Will you use me, Lord, to show someone? Will you come and enable me to say, Oh, Lord, my story is empty. Said again, Lord, I'm available to you. My will, I give to you, Lord. I'm going to do what you say, do. Use me, Lord. To show someone and enable me to say, My story, and I am available. Is there anybody else want prayer? If you desire prayer, come.
Come on, Linda. My storm. Oh. Father, in Jesus' name, we just honor you today. We bless you for who you are. You're a great God and deserve a great praise. There's nobody like you anywhere. Can't nobody do us like you do us. We bless your name for loving us. We give you glory for your grace and for your mercy. We worship you. We adore you. You're a great God and you deserve a great praise. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Have your own way, Lord. Have you in my soul. Have you in our life today. Your will be done, Lord. Your kingdom come. Your glory be revealed. Your glory be revealed. Let your glory be revealed through us. Let your glory be revealed in us. Forgive us today of every sin. Blot out the transgression. Cover us in the blood, oh God. We bless you, Lord. You love us so much. You got us tattooed on the palm of your hand. You love us so much. You designed us to be unforgettable. And we bless you for it. We honor you for it. Father, we pray for those that are less fortunate than we are. Use us to be a blessing. We make ourselves available to you. In the name of Jesus. Save, oh God. Save, Lord. Save our loved ones. Save, Lord. Save your own today. Save your own today. We praise you. We honor you. We love you. Yes, Lord. 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 My soul loves Jesus. My soul, come on, Zion, loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Bless his name. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Bless, bless his name. He's a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder. In my soul, he's a wonder. In my soul, bless his name. He's a wonder. In my soul, he's a wonder. In my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. Bless. Here it is. Yes. 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 All right. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes! One more time. Yes! Open your mouth and say, come on. Yes! 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 Yes!
give the Lord the praise. Come on and give the Lord the praise. If you love him, won't you praise him? Will you tell the Lord, thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. If you got a praise in you, get it out. If you got a praise in you, get it out. If you got a praise, give it to the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. Will, will you, will, will you tell that neighbor, say, neighbor, I was designed to be unforgettable. That's why I praise him. Give him a praise. Put a praise on it. 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 Put a praise on it.
come here. Come here, come here, come, 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 come on, come on, come on. That age, I need y'all to come here, tie. I want you to lay hands on them, baby. Come, just lay hands on those girls that age. Just lay hands on them, just touch them. 16, 15, 16, 17. You will be successful. You will be all right. You, you are, you are designed to be unforgettable. Will you praise him? Yes. <laughs>